Um, shit, I'm I'm in a good place though, but you know I'm still I'm still mad about that. I need that get back. You know, I need that rematch because, like like I said before, it don't it don't sit right with me because I I really feel like I won the fight. You don't, like how how do you win a twelve round fight just having two good? Well, you, if you, if you want to be nice, say three good rounds. Like like how do you win a twelve round fight? That's crazy to me. But yeah, I need I need that get back. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. So, so walk me down, like you know, <clears throat> you win the first seven rounds, eight rounds comfortably, easily. Like it's like no question. You know what I'm saying? It's a straight perfection boxing match. Yeah, the punch then, counts was crazy. Like speaking of that, you broke a record in one of those rounds. Oh yeah, because my right hand was only I only had one hand, so so yeah. I just I, if, you do, if you watch the fight, that's why I was throwing so much jabs. You know, so just, Alex mentioned that I'll to me. Well. Up one hand. Right, right. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> how is that hand anyway? Oh, it's great now. Going to physical therapy, that was real good. And ready to get back in the ring. Explain to me, walk me down to like, you know, when you get these big fights like that and you're going through like an injury during the training camp, and obviously you want to bite your tongue and not mention anything. But like, uh, go like you know, working out into that training camp, like, how does that feel mentally? Of saying like, you know, I gotta take this fight, but I know I'm injured. Well, I I, I know I could have. Well, I thought I could have beat him with one hand, but I thought I still thought I won. But I I, I knew because I really knew with him was just a jab. But you know, but like certain, in the gym, like I couldn't do certain workouts because you know would hurt my hand. So you know, you know, I probably could have been a little bit stronger during the fight, or you know, whatever. But other than that, yeah, just just fight. Right, right. What would you think of like things that you would could have done better in that fight, or if you had another chance? Obviously, you got to look at your performance. Uh, what would you think that you know some of the differences that you would have made? Ah, uh, shit! But like the last one, I, I should have held his ass <laughs> instead of being a warrior, keep on fighting. Right. You know? yeah. What was was it? The crowd itself that got you animated? Nah, it's just me being a me being a warrior, I guess. Yeah, I've seen two different sides of Boots that day. Um, but leading up to that, is that like another fight that you still would like to, you know, entertain? Of course. I was hoping, you know, at that be well, I was supposed to be villain and then fight him next, but shit. But after this rematch, we, uh, me and him could get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's something I do want, though. Is like, that, like, is that like really what it at? We can't just talk smack to each other and nothing happens, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, so that could definitely happen. It's funny, man, because, you know, Philadelphia fans, they definitely ride for their fighter. And, you know, <clears throat> I talk I about these matches. I, I wish Boston people ride for us like that, man. Oh, <laughs> facts, bro. <laughs> facts. You know, um, they ride real heavy, you know what I'm saying? But people don't understand that, you know, when it comes to the rankings, you know, he fought Karen, which, which is like, you know, ranked number 29 in the in the world. When you fought, you know, Villa, that was right under you at 17. So mm -hmm. it was like, you know, um, why, you know, the rankings are the way they are. That's one thing. But you could tell that, you know, you had the hard route out coming into the business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I always do it. I don't, it's, it's, that's just my life. <laughs> so I, I don't I don't mind it, though. I don't care. You know, I'll, you know, I'll take the tough route. Well, but then, you know, in the same time, bro, like that's how you really got beca you became, you know, very popular. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah, you say that. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then, you know. But uh, yeah, speaking upon that, man. So we here now, and um, you know your get back's coming real soon. I mean, mm -hmm. what are you guys working out in the gym? I I can't wait to get back over there do some. Yeah, we still, we, we still training always, always. You know, you you more than welcome to come through. Appreciate you, my brother. Definitely mm -hmm. appreciate you. So I mean, <clears throat> going off of uh, Ramon Villa, um. You know, when we talk about rematches and stuff like that, what would you say that, you know, complicated him in the ring? And what would you have to say his best assets are? Motherfucker got a hard head. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he was hurting, my, he was hurting my, my left hand, all the punches I was hitting him with. <laughs> my, yeah. my hands was hurting. But yeah, he, he just keeps on coming. I guess I guess he, he can say that. He just keeps on coming. Take it. He got a chin. Yeah. Yeah. He got mm -hmm. a chin. Yeah. So, you know, um, I see that they're trying to necessarily maybe possibly get boots into this fight. How do you think he would do with Ramon Villa? With, with Villa? Yeah. 
Yeah, but then again, Boots was talking about talking about he won't go back fighting fighters and shit. That's why that's one of the reasons why he didn't fight me. So why would he go fight him? Mm, mm, you know what I mean? mm, so, yeah. Kind of. I mean, I ain't saying he's scared of me, but like, what? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Basically, going back of what he would say, but like, yeah. either way, how would you think you know styles when they match up? I think Boots would beat him. 